Hello and welcome back to another video in the scene editor for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Today we're going to have a look at the windmill and I'm going to show you how you can use the script for other objects so you can make uh, things spin just like this. It's going to be a rather short video and I don't expect there's uh, anything major you can get out of it uh, unless you're working on a windmill or have at least uh, some object you want to spin around like this. So first off, uh, unlike the video that Tailworlds made uh, long ago, the object actually has this script uh, on it. So it's just uh, two entities combined, the windmill and then the uh, windmill fan. Um, when you add it, it's a uh, I feel the axis is uh, a bit off, so you have to uh, fix it so it uh, rotates uh, the right place. But uh, what I'm going to show you is that you can change the speed of how fast it uh, spins around. So let's try and uh, increase it to say what 650, and you can see it goes uh, around a little faster now. And you can of course also uh, Increase the speed if it's uh, not a very windy map you have. Seems more relaxed. And um, yeah, that's rather simple actually. And if you want to add it to another object, you can see I have done it to this. And I will show you how you can do it. Uh, it took me some time to actually find something you could try and use it on. Uh, still doesn't make any sense in this context, but you could change the texture, so perhaps it would look cool. Um, yeah, let's try and do that actually, just so it looks a little less messed up. So let's try and uh, do something like this. So perhaps we have this magical runestone in um, whatever scene you might have. Um, let's try first and change the yeah something like that change the texture uh, let's just we just change it all this this part of it that can be removed hmm. anyway let's just uh, keep it like that perhaps we want to change the color um, I've already shown how you do this uh, quite a few times I think it blends in a little better there so let's try to do that and uh, if you want to spin it around, it's very simple. You just go down to scripts and say add new script and you search for windmill. There we go. Click OK. And uh, it says it will break the, the prefab. Uh, that's not really a problem. So just hit OK. And uh, just like before, it spins around. Rather simple. And you can, of course, also increase the speed. I'm not really sure why and where you would use this, but um, now you at least know how you can do it. And uh, yeah, that's actually it for today's video. I hope you could use it for something in your scene. I guess it makes more sense if you're making a, a mod. Perhaps uh, the Star Wars mod could use this uh, method for something. Um, I think it can create a little life in uh, some scenes, so there's uh, actual movement. Anyway, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.